AI21 Lab has just released the new version of their Jamba model. Jamba 1.7 comes in two flavors, Jamba Mini and Jamba Large 1.7. And in this video, we are going to check out this Jamba Large. Not only that, I'm also going to explain what exactly is new about this model in terms of architecture as it uses hybrid SSM transformer architecture. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. If you are new to the channel, please like the video and subscribe as it helps a lot. So what exactly is this SSM transformer hybrid architecture? This design allows it to process an enormous amount of information at once. In this case, 256K context window while remaining efficient and fast. The core idea is to combine the strengths of two different AI model types to create a more capable and faster system, especially for tasks involving very, very long documents. And this is not something new. We have been covering these Jamba models for quite some time and they are evolving pretty rapidly. And as you can see, we already covered Jamba 1.6 and now we are working with Jamba 1.7 and I am going to check out this Jamba 1.7 large in this video. Now before I do that, let's set the stage and try to understand what exactly is this hybrid SSM model. First, it's a hybrid architecture which means it uses both transformers and SSM. A transformer is a standard architecture behind models like GPT known for its powerful self-attention mechanism that excels at understanding complex context. But this power comes at a high computational cost, making it slow and expensive for long texts. Whereas the SSM or state space model architecture is highly efficient at processing long sequences of data. It works sequentially and uses less memory making it much faster for long context tasks but traditionally less powerful at complex reasoning than a transformer. So that is the difference between these two. What Jamba has done, they have brought a hybrid approach that gets the best of both worlds. It strategically uses transformer components for their deep reasoning abilities and SSM components for their speed and efficiency with long sequences. And this makes the model uniquely suited for use cases that require analyzing or generating content based on large volume of text. You could use it for investment research, legal due diligence, generating medical reports, and creating personalized tutors that can process entire textbooks. Now let's get it tested and we will see how that works you can also install it locally and i have done various videos where you can check it out but i'm just going to check it on this ai studios website and i will drop the link in video's description you can create a free account there as a starter which i am using at the moment on the right hand side you can select the models and stuff i have selected the latest java large 1.7 Let's get more screen and first up I am going to test this prompt where I am asking it plan a same day trip from Bangkok, Thailand to Angkor Wat in Cambodia. Provide a step by step itinerary including transportation options, crossing the border and visiting the temple complex. So I'm just trying to see if model is aware of these nuances and if it can plan well or not. So let's run it is working there you go so it is very fast too as you can see and i can already tell what it is producing that the answer is quite a good let's wait for it now if you look at the response it looks pretty grounded and nuanced so it is giving you the itinerary time by time the timing is correct like this is um, arriving at Ho Chi Minh, uh, sorry, Mochit bus terminal at 5.30 and then arriving at this destination and from here 
uh, it is talking about the border crossing can take this much time which is quite correct but it could increase but you never know uh, you know on these border crossings all the names are correct timings are correct so there you go the answer is very very well done okay let's try out another one now i'm just going to um, ask it in this case a different question where i'm asking it to assume the role of a senior m and a analyst for a top tier investment bank so primarily in this prompt i am testing the model's ability to process and synthesize vast amount of dense structured information identify key risk and synergies reasoning and adhere to a professional format while citing its sources which means i want to test instruction following and grounding you see i have given it this scenario sorry i'll just go up so i have given it this scenario then i am asking you to prepare me a memo on the viability of this thing it should give me executive summary key financial operation risk and cultural mismatch and analyst and all this stuff and then here i am giving it some strict constraints and there you go so it has prepared it well i'm quickly skimming through it the language is very coherent spot on and then just as i asked it is talking about all the synergies and it is sticking to the theme of the question these are the risks which it has identified it has assumed the role very well you know this is a fictitious name i was using and it is really really going well and these are the mismatches with cultural you know what i think this 1.7 has improved a lot if you compare it to this 1.6 i think they have really done wonderfully well and if you look at 1.6 it was like four to five months ago so they have taken their sweet time this time okay next up i am going to give it another hard question now in this question what i'm testing is the model's ability to understand and integrate highly specialized information from multiple long documents and then generate a new hypothesis and then also adhere to a rigid academic format instruction following so you see i'm telling the model that you are a leading neurobiologist applying for highly competitive research grant i have provided you with three seminal research papers your task is to write a grant proposal abstract that proposes a novel research project that synthesizes the core findings from all of these three papers so but of course you can provide it any sort of document you want and then it is going to create this whole um, theme and then proposal in terms of these strict constraints here so let's run this let's wait for it to come back and look at just this uh, this response it is really grounded and it is not suggesting any scenario that is purely science fiction if you read through it and it is plausibly achievable based on the technical specs it has even given us some of the mitigation recommendation and they are not simply just turn off the system but it is actually a technical change plus the whole tone is very objective there is nothing emotionally charged there is no inflammatory language so it is quite a professional audit not a political statement as you can see all through these lines that is actually pretty good i would say really really impressive stuff okay so next up there is an in very interesting prompt which is a complex multilingual and entirely self-contained prompt that is putting the model in the role of a ceo who must synthesize conflicting reports in nine languages to resolve a single high stake corporate crisis so the crisis is that our flagship collaboration suite connects where is scheduled for a major update next week code name project phoenix and you have just received the following final status report from your international teams in different languages and all of the languages which i mentioned earlier if you go to their model page you will see that they uh, at the moment 
support English, Spanish, French, Portuguese, Italian, Dutch, German, Arabic, and Hebrew. And that is what I'm testing here. All of these nine languages reports. And then the task of CEO is to make an executive decision in single paragraph, crisis risk metrics, risk domain, defining code, and then in different languages, it needs to instruct different teams. And then regardless of decision, you must prepare for a press leak. Let's see how it goes. Should be a fun experiment. And while it creates that, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Camel AI. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws with applications in data generation, task automation, and world simulation. And look at this answer. It, so it has given the executive decision, which is very succinct, but to the point, no fluff there. This is a crisis matrix. It has done immediate directives. And these are the languages I have checked view of the group from Google Translate looks pretty good. But if you are that language speaker, please also confirm. And this is a public holding statement. And I think due to it has some limit over in this um, test, so it didn't provide me all. Let me see if I can expand this context. So from the right hand side, I have increases to 4096. Hopefully that should be plenty for this. Let's run this again. Let's wait for it. Okay, now I think there's a limit on its output, so it is not moving forward. That is fine. But as far as I, ca I can tell, I think it has done really, really good here. Okay, let's ask it a math question. This is simply a mathematical analysis question where I'm asking it to find the limit of sequence. There you go, spot on. It already has given a correct answer. And then it is giving this explanation. Interesting. And there you go, the ans answer is quite correct. It, it has done some reasoning too, the step by step chain of thought. Good stuff. Okay, let's reload this. Okay, next up, I'm giving it this prompt where I'm testing the model's coding capabilities. Not only that, but also I'm trying to check out if model understands a full stack application using Flutter and Next.js with knowledge of system architecture, asynchronous communication, REST and WebSocket, state management, and strict code formatting for two different technology stacks within a single response. So if you look at this code, this already looks pretty good to me. It is still producing it, so let's wait. And if you look at this response again, it has created the skeleton. Then it is talking about all the API endpoints in TypeScript. The code looks pretty good. And these are some of the WebSocket implementation, which I was talking about. This is a Flutter using Dart. Yep, looks pretty good. This is a state management that has followed the prompt to the hilt with the user interface and of code. So pretty good. You know what? All in all, a very all-rounder model from AI21 Labs yet again. But this one is way, way improved than 1.0 as I mentioned in this video. That's it. Let me know what do you think. Please like the video and share it. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do so as it helps a lot. Thank you for all the support.